Can you hear me? Well, without further ado then, let's get on with this week's six things you missed video. Number one, a reused shot. Did that shot of the TARDIS landing in Sheffield just after the title sequence look at all familiar to you? If so, that's because it's exactly the same shot used in Arachnids in the UK, taken from the filming at the Park Hill Flats two years ago in February 2018. You're not going to be able to unsee that now, so sorry. But it's kind of understandable why the production team wouldn't have wanted to travel all the way back to Sheffield just for a five second clip. So I can see why they reused it, even if it is slightly irritating. As far as I'm aware, none of the location filming for Series 12 actually took place in Sheffield, even for the Sheffield set's episodes, which is why most of the scenes of the fam returning home are set indoors. Number 2. Some old friends. Keeping on the subject of Sheffield, some of the friends and family members visited by Ryan, Graham and Yaz have appeared in the show before. Most obviously, Yaz's sister Sonia, but also Tibbo, Ryan's best mate, introduced in Spyfall, and Graham's bus driver pal Gabriel, or Gabe, who had a cameo role in The Woman Who Fell to Earth. And Sharon D. Clark appeared again as Grace in Ghost Form, as she had done in Arachnids in the UK, and It Takes You Away. Number 3. A Reused Actor the story featured one other returning actor, albeit in a different role this time round. Ian Gelder, who played the malevolent Zelin here, previously voiced the remnants in the Ghost Monument. He also played the cold-hearted Mr. Decker in Torchwood Children of Earth. Number 4. References to old foes. The Eternals have their games, the Guardians have their power struggles, the Toymaker would approve remarked Zelin in a moment of glorious fan service. The Eternals previously featured in the Fifth Doctor story Enlightenment, the Black and White Guardians were introduced in The Key to Time, i.e. Season 16, and appeared again in the 1983 trilogy Mordred Undead, Terminus and Enlightenment, and the Celestial Toymaker was fought by the First Doctor in the 1966 serial of the same name. Number 5. The return of the TARDIS telepathic circuits. The headset worn by Graham is the latest manifestation of the TARDIS telepathic circuits, a bit of kit last used in Series 11 in Demons of the Punjab and the Battle of Ranskorav Kolos, and in numerous stories before that, such as Listen, Dark Water, and The Name of the Doctor. Number 6. Quick Fire Easter Eggs. Can You Hear Me is the first ever Doctor Who story to feature a question mark in the title. It's the second 13th Doctor Episode 7 to break a punctuation record, following in the footsteps of Kablam from Series 11, which was the first story to contain an exclamation mark in the title. Nightmares had previously been a major plot point in stories such as The End of Time and the Sarah Jane Adventures episode The Nightmare Man while fear also played a big part in Listen. Yaz reels off a list of cities she's recently travelled to with the Doctor, each of which refers back to a previous Series 12 episode. She visited Madagascar in Praxius, California in Spyfall, Hong Kong, also in Praxius, and Gloucester in Fugitive of the Jadoon. Sonia's comment, they had a thing in Gloucester, Dad was going on about it, something to do with Russians, refers to the ongoing gag that Yaz's dad is a keen conspiracy theorist, as joked about in Spyfall and Arachnids in the UK. As ever, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and it's perhaps pointed out something to you that you hadn't noticed in the episode before. And if there's anything I've missed myself, please feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Stay tuned for another 6 Things You Missed video next week, and do subscribe if you're new. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching once again, and goodbye for now.